Hey everyone, welcome back to 996 to Howl. Today we're talking about the Arizona Coyotes. First time in a while I have a Coyotes video on this channel. Obviously, I have chosen to follow the team to Utah, but some news happened Friday afternoon. Uh, I knew it. Uh, I had a feeling selfishly I had something very important on Friday, a wedding. And with the land auction announced early in March that the auction day would be June 27th, I had a feeling something bad would happen since everything is following, uh, every negative thing is following the owner of the Coyotes, Alex Morello. So thankfully, selfishly, the team was able to move three months ago instead of right now. I'm sure that would have been a gut punch to all Coyotes fans. At least we were able to send them off with that last game at Mullet Arena and have some time to grieve before another bombshell like this landed in our lamp. So the Arizona Land Department, it's been a while since I wore in a jersey, so the, the Arizona Land Development has canceled the June 27th land auction that was going to occur where Alex Morello was supposedly the only bidder for the land and his goal was to win the land auction and just reach that milestone in the next step to reactivate the Arizona Coyote franchise. Why they canceled the auction was that the Coyotes need a zoning permit for an NHL arena before the auction. Now there's, you know, opinions and speculation was that known this whole time. Did the Arizona land development tell Alex Morello and ownership group they needed that permit prior? Is it their job to do that? Um, some say that the land development's job is just to sell the land. I mean, there's renderings. They Coyotes have been very public and open that they want to build an NHL arena since really early March where they released those rendering videos. So I'm sure this didn't catch the Arizona land development by surprise. Or maybe they thought, you know, we just need that permit a week before the auction. And then a week before the auction comes and the guys don't have that permit. And so they canceled the auction. That could have happened as well. Craig Morgan has reported that the Coyotes and Alex Morello ownership group don't have a zoning permit attorney. They don't have someone to represent the Coyotes in court to discuss zoning laws and permits. There's speculation that the zoning law only allowed for a youth hockey arena and not a 15,000 seat NHL arena. I don't know if that's true or not either. Just a lot, it seems like it's reoccurring. A lot of ineptitude by Alex Morello and the Coyotes group mixed in with government bodies not doing anything at all to support Alex Morello. It would be one thing if the government support system in Arizona was trying to help them instead of, you know, not helping them, not aiding them, not telling them what they need and just letting Alex Morello fall on his own sword. So it's just a mixture of really terrible things that's happening. And it's leading to a point where I think a lot of Coyotes fans, a lot of fans that live in Arizona, they're probably leaning towards just leave. You got your billion dollars, Alex Morello, please leave and let's start this process of getting an ownership group that does things right. Um, just the amount of deteriorated relationships by Alex Morello, relationships with the state cities, a relationship with employees, relationship with Coyotes fans, relationship with Arizona citizens that aren't Coyotes fans just yet and media as well. It seems like every single arm of what a hockey team touches, those relationships are, are just so tarnished that I, every step of the way you expect Alex Morello to rebuild those relationships, maybe show some uh, modesty or humbleness, apologize a little bit more, but this brash, fake billionaire confidence, he just keeps using and keeps that's his really his way of just bargaining and his way of getting things he wants you know right the same day they had that exit interview that the team was officially sold to utah he brashly just says you know tucson roadrunners will play a mullet arena next season and then we find out a couple weeks later he didn't talk to anybody didn't do any homework and now they're only playing six games instead of the full what is it 32 home games in the american hockey league 
I mentioned employees. It was recently revealed he only gave a severance package of one paycheck to each employee. Now, some might say, well, the team's been gone for two months, so maybe one paycheck is enough. They probably still needed employees to refund season ticket holders, to just close the sale maybe, keep sales records, or just do whatever they needed to do. But at the end, at the end of the day, geez, I Googled how many Arizona, empl Arizona Coyote employees are there, and Google told me, 350 people let's round that to 400 just in case google is wrong if you gave every single person of those 400 people ten thousand dollars that would be not even a percent of a billion dollars not even half a percent of a billion dollars it is 0 0.0004 percent of a billion dollars if you gave every employee 400 employees ten thousand dollars i mean just do that like just try to show that maybe somewhere you're a deep empathetic person uh, you need employees back when you reactivate the team wouldn't you want the same employees in the same business to come back to work for you if you gave them a great severance package. Um, yeah, I'll move on from that as well. The PR statement that the Arizona Coyotes put out was very threatening, very defensive. Instead of just complying with the land development, they're kind of like saying, you know, pushing back, complaining on Twitter. Um, you probably should have a good relationship with the land development because now they could just look at your Twitter response and be like, okay, we're not going to give you a chance to bid on the land anymore. And then that's it. They lose out on the land. It's like just mending relationships and not acting so quickly to feel like people betrayed you. Just be like, okay, we understand. We'll work on it. We'll comply and we'll get back to the next auction date. That That's what they should have done instead of being combative and battling with Arizona state land. The 10 week public notice of the auction date still stands. So whenever the next auction date is, there needs to be a 10 week period that the public knows this auction is happening. So other bidders could compile their bidding attempt and be at the auction. So at the very least, you know, they got to get the zoning permit. How long does that take? I don't know, maybe a month or two. And then after they get the zoning permit, it's another 10 weeks until the next auction. So we might see the next auction in the fall maybe late winter this year, maybe early next year. For the NHL's sake, they've said uh, Alex Morello owns the Arizona Coyotes' rights until they don't. The only real hard specific date is December 31st, 2027. At that date, it's the deadline to submit their reactivation to the league and the arena needs to be 50% built on December 31st, 2027. That's the only hard date we have publicly known to us. So they're kind of running out of runway here. They need a, an arena built 50% of the way in the next three, three, three years and a bit, couple months. So we'll see where they're at. Anything else I need to talk about? It just seems like Alex Morello is banging his head against a wall and uh, it's just been nothing but bad. And it's funny and ironic how Glendale is the only city that wanted the Coyotes, that wanted Alex Morello ownership. They wanted Alex Morello and the Coyotes to sign a 15, 20 year lease. And obviously the league is, plays a part as well. They, they've always been public in saying they need to move out of Glendale. So the fact that Glendale even offered them a, a long-term lease is pretty spectacular, but the league and Alex Morello said no. So they lost, you know, being a tenant in Glendale, they lost a Tempe vote for their arena. Alex Morello lost the actual team. He lost the demand of having the Roadrunners play in Mullet Arena all season. And now he lost the auction date for June 27th. And potentially he lost the bidding the ability to bid on this piece of land in North Phoenix. So it's just been nothing, just a domino of just bad ineptitude, incompetence. And uh, really, he has zero benefit of the doubt. And I think everyone's really tired of him. So that's it. Uh, not sure where to go from here. It's all about Arizona State Coyotes fans. They decide what they want, where this team wants to go. 
if they want the quickest way back to an NHL team, it's probably Alex Morello. But if they want it right with great ownership group, it will probably take longer. And they would probably want Alex Morello to leave as soon as possible. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. If you'd like what you see, spread the word. And as always, thank you for your support.